Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Maddie, and today I'm going to be showing you how I get my everyday makeup look. It's this look right here. So if you're interested in how I do my makeup every single day, then please keep watching. Ooh, so. Ugh, I need to clip my hair back first. Ew, what is on my hand? Okay, I'm gonna clip my hair back. Don't mind what it looks like, because, you know, we just clipping it back. If I can find the clip. Pause. It like flew <laughs> last time I used it, so we got it, we got it back. So this is like my every single day makeup, like if I'm wearing makeup 95% of the time, this is what's on my face. So I keep situating my chair. First priority, coffee. All right, so I'm going to first hydrate my skin with the Farsali Rose Gold Elixir. Amanda Ensing is actually the person that turned me on to this. I really do like it. I feel like it's very moisturizing right before my makeup. Just put a little bit on. I've been really dry, like right here for some reason. This is a dry oil, which I really like about it because I hate when you have like those nasty oils that like literally your face looks soaking wet afterwards. And please don't mind this gross pimple I have right here and my chin is my problem area. So we're just not gonna talk about that. So I have been on like a skincare kick. I really have been focusing a lot on my skin and it looks a lot better. I know that I said my chin is my problem area. So that doesn't look the best right now, but the rest of my face looks incredible compared to what it used to look like. So if you guys wanna see like a how I fixed my face, then just like this video because I have no problem doing it. Okay, so I feel like I've pressed that into the skin pretty well. I just like to focus it right here, especially because it's when I've been getting really dry. I'm not sure why I've been getting dry because I've literally had oily skin my whole life, but it's fixable. So the first thing I go in with is my NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. Because I've been so into skincare lately, I've really been into like your skin but better looking kind of situation. And this evens out my skin tone a lot and kind of helps like this dullness my redness and things like that. It just really it evens out all of my skin tone and that's what I really like about this. Let me get my brushes. Sitting behind me, they're not gonna be helpful. Um, so the shade that I am in is Tear Nuave Light Zero. This is their lightest shade, which is one of the things I don't really like about it because when I first shade matched myself, cause like I usually am pretty good about just shade matching myself, it's Fora. I didn't think this was gonna be light enough for me. Like, I don't know, it just felt really dark, but I got shade match. This is what she gave me. So I just take a pump like this on the back of my hand. I shake it up first and I'll just take my brush. This is the Morphe Y7. It's from their Gilded Collection. I love all things gold, so that's why I had to get it. And I'll just dip my brush in the back of my hand and start going all over my face. I love this brush for foundation because it's domed and it's so soft. So I love that about it i like to get around the like redness of my nose because i get a lot of redness there i do focus a lot on my chin but a little bit does go along with this i noticed like i don't need a whole lot of it which is pretty good since it's tinted moisturizer that's pretty much why you don't need a lot of it but i think it gives my fit what i don't need to Like I was saying, I think this gives my skin a flawless finish. I think it really looks a lot better. Hold on, my mom's coming to show me my dogs. Sorry, my mom just gave my dogs a bath and she felt the need to show me all of their wet dogs-ness. Okay, so I just buff this all over my forehead, my nose, everywhere. Just like to get an even coverage because I think it gives me a nice even out skin tone which is what I really like about it and I think that a lot of my redness has disappeared and I just give my skin like a nice flawless finish I think I might put a little bit more on my forehead and a tad on my nose so I'm just gonna take another little dollop on my back of my hand and use just the same brush I know I haven't blended out my forehead I'm just trying to get my nose first and I'm gonna focus right there because I feel like I have extra redness right there. I mean, with nasty pimple, drives me nuts. I do bring this over my eyes because I'm gonna use some eyeshadow, but I don't like 
prep my eyes for my eyeshadow. I just like how this neutralizes the redness and that helps my eyeshadow. And I do like to bring it right under my chin. So that is all I do for my face, like my base. I don't do anything else. I don't do contour, or highlight, nothing. Because I like to just keep this super natural for every day. This is what I like to do. I think it gives my skin a nice natural look, but it kind of evens out the skin tone. And I don't feel that it looks cakey at all either, which like it's not supposed to. It's a tinted moisturizer. But I don't feel like you can see the product on my skin, which I really do like about it. So next, sorry, my brushes are really loud when I put them away. The next thing I'm going to do is eyeshadow. I like to use the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. This is one of my favorite palettes. Um, I'm going to do like a whole dedicated review of it, but it's just so beautiful. There's a color for everybody in this, I swear. And the color that I like to take, I take it on my Morphe Y17. It's just this little fluffy blending brush. I take this third color in on the second row. It is the color called Hooter. And I just throw my brush in it, tap off the excess, and I just use this right in the crease in the outer corner to kind of carve out my eye. Makes you look a little bit more awake, makes you look like you tried, even if you didn't, which I usually don't try. Your girl's gotta be to work at 7 o'clock in the morning, so I do the bare minimum. But I really like the way that this looks every day. So, again, right in the crease and on the outer corner. And whatever excess that I have on the brush after I've blended all the way out. Sorry if I keep looking like over the camera or like right underneath it. I have both, I have mirrors in both of those locations. So I keep looking, that's what this is, it's my mirror. And whatever excess I have, I just dust it right on my lid. Back into Cooter for the other eye. I just blend it all out. I feel like I didn't get enough on that one. And you can use different color browns. It's one of my favorite parts of this look is that you can use any other shadow. You could use like a red. You could use a deeper brown, a lighter brown, literally any color you wanted, and just do this right in your crease and right on like the lid and everything, and it just changes the look. So like you don't have to do the same color every day. I do because I just like the way that this looks and I think it's easy. But I will change it up sometimes. So and then usually this is how I'll leave my lid, like 90% of the time this is what I do, but if I'm feeling a little extra, a little spicy, I'll take this color right here. It's called Beam. I'll just take a little bit on my brush. And put it right in the center of my lid to kind of brighten everything up. A little bit of that right on the center of my lid. I think it helps to make it look a little bit more awake. And I really like the way that it looks. So that is all I do for my eyes. Super simple, super quick and easy. And the next thing I'm going to do is, I've just started doing this. I don't do this all the time. But I'm going to take a little bit of nude liner. I just use the NYX Wonder Pencil. This is the light. They have a light, medium, and a dark. I like to use the light and I will just throw this in my waterline, make me look a little bit more awake. Sorry if I'm like super close or like out of frame, but I'm using my mirror that's down here. I feel like I'm breathing so heavy, it's extra. Does anybody else get like really ticklish on their like waterline when you water when you line it? Jeez. I have acrylics, so I just like to like hold down where it is instead of putting the heat of my thing on there and then I'll use my foundation brush again and just kind of blend that out. But as you can see, it kind of makes you look a little bit more awake. Like it makes your eyes look bigger, which I really like about that. Next thing I'm going to do is go in with my mascara. I'm making a lot of noise. Um, I have this eyelash curler I just got at the grocery store. So I'm going to curl my lashes first. I think this makes all the difference. It makes you look really awake. Make sure the lashes look a lot bigger. I am the worst at applying false lashes, so I do not use them a lot. But I also like the way my lashes look with just mascara. I just think that curling them is an extra little step that really helps. Sorry, my mom is yelling at my dogs. So the two mascaras that I use are the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black and the Rimmel Lash Accelerator. I use both. I like them a lot. I like them. I like using them a lot together as well. The Voluminous Carbon Black from L'Oreal. It really like coats my lashes and make them super black and super thick and the Rimmel Lash Accelerator helps me to like really define them and make them really, I like them to look separated, I don't like the clumpy look. So sorry I'm getting really close to my mirror but gotta see what I'm doing. I feel like I'm breathing so heavy today. my lashes with mascara and without. I think it really helps to like open my eyes which is what I really like about it. 
that's why I like to use both of them because I think they both do a lot for my lashes. I think that the one really thickens them up. Gives length as well, which I really like. And then the Rimmel really helps to separate them and gives them added length. Oh, just missed the tube. Does anybody else do that? I like miss the tube sometimes. And again, I like to wiggle the, the lash accelerator to really separate my lashes. That one's super thick. And I like to wiggle it out. I did get a little bit of mascara like above my eyeshadow, so I'm just gonna wipe it away. It usually comes off really easily. Okay, so next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna prep my lips for our lip stuff that we're gonna do in a little bit. I am using the Glossier Coconut Balm.com. It says Universal Skin Solve on it. I use it as my lip balm. I've been loving this stuff lately. Well, that's a ratchet. I got that mascara on my nail. Okay, before I was so rudely interrupted by my mother, I was saying that I love to use this CoconutBalm.com stuff from Glossier. This is honestly super hydrating, and I love the smell of coconuts. They have other flavors too. I think they have a cake one, don't quote me, and a like just plain one, but I love the smell of coconuts. It's like my favorite scent, my favorite flavor of things, so I had to get the coconut one, and it does smell so good. So now that I've prepped my lips, I'm going to do my eyebrows because I haven't done those yet. I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Duo in the shade Chocolate. As you can see, I've really dug into this one because I used to do my brows a little bit lighter because I have blonde hair, so it was like super drastic if I didn't. But I'm just gonna fill these in. I have to fill my brows in like every day because I feel like incomplete without filling in my brows. I feel like my brows really make a difference. So this brush that I use is from or Gazy, it's some brush kit that like my grandma got me for Christmas like three years ago when I first like wanted like professional brushes. I think she got it at like Kohl's, I'm not even joking. So it works really well, it's super dense, which is what I like about it as my eyebrow brush because I really like the way that it puts the product on. And I don't try to like perfect my brows every day, I just like to make them look more full and there. I just like reshaped my brows all by myself. I'm very proud of them. I tweezed them and I use one of those little like shaper razor things and I kind of cut off part of my brow. So if you see like my brow is missing a little bit on this side and I'm extending it, that is why. But you can't really tell from far away. It's mostly if I'm just like right up in there, you can like see the powder, but I'm just filling in my brow. My right brow always looks so much better than my left brow. So please don't judge my left brow. Remember they are sisters and not twins. <laughs> All right, so now that I have my brows filled in, it does not take me long at all. I'm going to do my lips, but I have to find my lip gloss. Pause. I was in my purse because I went somewhere the other day and I brought it with me because I was wearing it. Um, but I usually use the Maybelline Color Sensational in the shade 925 Maple Kiss. This is like a really gorgeous, like, mauvey brown color. I really love the way that it looks. It's super natural and it's not that much darker than my actual lip color, so it really looks super natural on, but you can obviously tell you're wearing something. I really like this look. I usually go for that like every day, but lately I have been using the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm because I just got it and I really like it. It's like this nudie brown with like silver and gold reflex. I really love it. And I've been going more for the um, glossy look lately, so put this on. I have like no lips, I'm aware. And let me let my hair down. This is the final look. So this is my everyday makeup tutorial. This is what I do for school, for work, literally everything. This is how I do my makeup. It's my go-to look. I find it so simple and easy. So if you guys like this video, please subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.